So, the member of the opposition who opened the debate spoke for 20 minutes. He was interrupted six times. The member of the Treasury benches spoke for 18 minutes. Nobody from the opposition interrupted him. That was his time. He had to have his say, and there will be enough opportunities for them to reply. I would, through you, sir, express this sentiment that I hope I am extended the same graciousness as we extended to the member of the Treasury bench and all the speakers thereafter. This is what I mean. This is precisely what I mean, sir. Take the seat. Thank you. Sir, we keep referring to this house, and it's okay because it's colloquial, as the upper house. Personally, I use a different phrase. The Trinamool uses a different phrase, and most people prefer this phrase. We'll call it the Council of States. Sir, it's the appropriation bill, the demands for grants, but we are not the St. Stephen's College Debating Society. This is a political house. So when we are looking at the appropriation bill, when we are looking at the demand for grants, of course we will have a political debate. But today, I don't think anybody from the BJP is going to interrupt me. Because in the last six or seven weeks, while late nights were spent watching World Cup football, afternoons were spent by me reading a 43-page document, a 43-page book, which they're all familiar with. As they speak of 2029, I want to speak of 2024, but before that of 2019. What is this document? Unfortunately, unfortunately, the rules of the House do not permit me to bring the document in here, but sir, it is here in case you need it for any reference. I've taken some quotes from the document. And that document is the manifesto of the Bharatiya Janata Party 2019. That's only where I will be, nowhere beyond that. And the bill and the demand for grants. 13, 12 or 13 quick references, no rhetoric, only on the facts. So the first one, quote, we will continue to pursue federal governance by ensuring greater involvement of the states in all aspects of policy making, unquote. Page 25, manifesto promise number 10 of the BJP, federal governance. So two numbers for the finance minister, and I'm sure she will respond to all this tomorrow. The first one, when the BJP came to power in 2014, states were spending 46% more than the union government. In 2021, 2022, my charge is, states are not spending 46% more than the union government, they're spending 150% more than the union government. Two. 29 of the 98 bills passed before 2021 were anti-federal in nature. If you look at the bills, 29 of them went against federalism. Sir, I'm still on the point of federalism as mentioned in that manifesto. I'll make four quick points. My charge is that there is an economic blockade of the states. One, sir, you said something very interesting. You said something very interesting. If you say something, you should back it up with documents, yes? So as per Rule 266, under directions of the chairman earlier, number 37 and 39, I have placed this on the table with the necessary permissions. What are these four documents I'm placing today? Seven years ago, states have been burdened because the center canceled schemes about seven years ago. That document is here. One of those schemes was the backward region grant funds, and that simply means it was so important for the states, the states had to continue the scheme, but the funding stopped. My second point, sir. They reduced the share of the center on many schemes. Simply put, if the scheme was, say, 65% from the center, 35% from the state, the states were taken up to 50%, the center was brought down to 50%. There are all these examples in this document. One is the Sarva Shikshya Abhiyan. That's an example. The third one, sir, 
was the central sector scheme. Best example, Manrega. It's another point that the current prime minister didn't like Nar Nar uh, Manrega in 2014. We are happy that he has a different point of view. We welcome that. And the fourth point on the economic blockade, and to this, with your permission, I'd like to thank a colleague who is now in Calcutta, Dr. Amit Mitra, who is very well known. So this is on the FRBM, the Fiscal Responsibility and Budget Management. And the Finance Minister is here, and I'm sure she will address this tomorrow. Sir, you gave the states, you took it up from 3.5%. This is borrowing as, a, as, a, as related to GDP. You took it up from 3.5%, you took it up to 4%. Now, this year, you brought the state borrowing down to 3.5%. My limited point, when you took it up to 4%, two points, when you took it up to 4%, you laid some conditions on the states. For example, you said the state has to privatize electricity. No, that's anti-federal. You make some other points about urban bodies. So the point here is, sir, please bring it back, take it to 4%, and it has to be unconditional. That's a request from the House of the States. So I'm going back to this book, the 43-page book. I read now from page 25. So far we are going well because it's all in the... Uh, so no interruptions. Good. No interruptions. No, so good, good, good. Both sides. Good. Sir, so I quote, we have set an example of inclusive federal governance through steps as, such as establishment of the GST Council etc., etc. So there are many points to make on the GST Council. I would like to make just one, page 25. My point is, sir, CES, as it's in undergraduate economics, CES goes directly to the center. No sharing with the states. Right. This is an interesting figure, sir. In 2011, of the total percentage of gross tax revenue, 2011, 10% was CES. Guess the number now, sir. CES being going only to the center. 26.7% is CES. How are the states being deprived? From 10, it's up to 26.7. It's a quick point for the manifesto again, which manifesto? BJP manifesto 2019. Quote, we will also ensure implementation of the 14 Finance Commission's recommendations. 14 Finance Commission, purpose was good, but did it get served? This is page 25 of the Good Governance Manifesto. Divisible pool of taxes devised by the 14 Finance Commission and the 15 Finance Commission was 42% and 41%, give or take a percentage here and there. The state's share in central taxes is estimated to be just 30% of the gross tax revenue of the central government. This is worth pondering over, sir, and asking for an answer. Let me move on. All on the appropriation bill, all on the numbers, all related to promises made in a manifesto in 2024, 1919, and all these diversions before 2024, now the new goalpost I heard is 2029. Even Mbappe would have retired by then, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Sir, please listen because this is, and tomorrow I hope, all these arguments are demolished. All these numbers are thrown out. Quote, oh, I forgot the page. Page 10, introduction to the BJP manifesto. Under the leadership of Prime Minister Modi, every effort has been made, dot, 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 in the management of national assets. Key word being management of national assets, unquote. In the last five years, sir, rupees 10 lakh crore, 10 lakh crore has been written off by this government as bad debts by banks. You know, I was trying to find a way. I was very bad in maths in school, so I was trying to find a way. What is 10 lakh crores? What is 10 lakh crores? So I think I found a way to express what is 10 lakh crores. Take the entire budget 
of Chhattisgarh, of Telangana, of Rajasthan, of my beloved state of Bengal. Our beloved state. <laughs> You love more, sir. <laughs> you love more. Sir, now, now that we've publicly expressed our mutual love for each other, <laughs> so I will continue with this. Right. So, West Bengal, Chhattisgarh, Telangana, and Rajasthan, the combined budget for these states is, what? Way less than 10 lakh crores. Now, of this, only 13% has been recovered of the 10 lakh crores. 1.3 lakh crores. Let's come to back to this. Sir. I'm feeling shy to show it to you, but if you give me the permission, at least we can have a peep. Yes, sir. This one. Okay. But this one, sir, I should lay on the table because this has got the list of the schemes, and uh, I laid it on the table because I've also given it in writing. So yes. you just, it's not literally laid on the no, table. No. Right. No. Sir, page 20. Infrastructure, headline. Large number of jobs and livelihood opportunities. The un unemployment rate, sir, in the last three months has been 8%. Reverse argument, we, when we made these promises, we didn't know COVID was coming. Okay. Manrega, 15 crore citizens with jobs. The center, the, the, the union, the union owes the states money. This is one of those schemes. I'm not quibbling about how much is owed, how much is not owed. Let those numbers come tomorrow, and the finance minister can share those numbers. And from there, sir, let's move on to youth. Mentioned in that manifesto, and I quote, India, this is, India is a youthful country, a country with such a major percentage of youth. It has the capability to change not only its own, but the fate of the entire world. Unquote. Sounds fantastic, sir. What's the reality? This is from page 28. There's a photograph and a quote of the Honorable Prime Minister. And I, today's numbers are what on the youth? Urban unemployment in the age group of 20 to 24. I want young people of India listening to these debates in Parliament to say when you say the opposition is diverting. No, the opposition wants to talk to the young people of India. The opposition wants to talk to the women of India. The opposition wants to talk to the old people of India, the, the unemployed. Working. But the opposition is trying and trying and trying, and the owners of the television channels also need to amplify the voice of the opposition, not the journalists. <laughs> Unemployment number in the age group of 20 to 24 is 42 percent. Shame. 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 Sir, Sir, they don't want slogans. They want jobs. Please, sir, 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 I seek your protection. I seek your protection. Sir, I'm not yielding. I seek your protection. Sir, I'm seek, I seek your protection. Sir, this is what I said, sir. First person spoke for 20 minutes, six interactions. I have at least got to 30 minutes. Honorable member. Listen, no. Listening is an if art. If any it's statement is made and the statement is found to be incorrect on fact, right. you need to be aware of it, carries serious consequences. Right, sir. Thank you. You can, now take, I will a, reveal you can take recourse to rules. Sir, the, now I will reveal the source of my data. I must. The source of my data, I had another job 20 years ago before I came parliament, so I not only have one source, there have to be three sources in the good old quiz days. So the source of my data is the October 15th report, read it in your spare time, the October 15th report 2022 of CMIE. That's the source. Now let me come back to the manifesto. I'm really a bit disheartened today. I'm talking about the BJP manifesto and the BJP member wants to disturb me. What else, I mean, can I do? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, my next one. We are committed. 
page 31 page 31 women led development promise hashtag 3 in we are committed to make women equal partners and equal beneficiaries of the progress and prosperity of the nation unquote according to the cmi that center for monitoring indian economy two crore women quit the workforce between 2017 to 2022 answer these questions answer these questions in parliament don't tell me what i can eat on good good governance day it doesn't matter what i eat don't tell me where to pray who to pray answer these questions now sir since the member had a point of order please do give him a chance later may i earnestly request you sir ahead, to see but see my data now you talk about women two crore women quit the work workforce female la labor force participation in india these are not new numbers it's 33 percent and let's see, not even talk about the women's reservation bill it was mentioned in your now you say i'm going away from the appropriation bill yes i'm going away bjp is committed to 33 percent reservation in parliament and state assemblies through a constitutional amendment you don't need the women's reservation bill you don't need it if you have a chief minister like Mamta Banerjee sitting there, 36 percent of our women are MPs here. Not giving 36 percent tickets, no. You can give women 36 percent tickets, and they will all may lose. I'm talking about 36 percent women in parliament, not only parliament, down to the panchayat level, to the bodies. There are 50 percent women reservation. Sir, 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 it's a very, it's a very touchy point because, because, because I will tell you, even till the time Mbappe has children, they will still not bring the women's reservation bill or be a part of it. So leave that aside, sir. Now let's come to the last few points. Number eight, we will ensure that India remains the world's fastest growing economy. We will ensure that. Page nine, you spoke about five trillion. You spoke about five trillion economy, page nine of your manifesto. World Bank is telling you GDP is 6.9 percent. If you are to grow like this, when will you reach the target with your current inflation numbers? You can compare it to America and feel very good about it. No problem. Now come to the next one, sir. The idea, quote, a manifesto, page four. The idea of fulfilling the basic necessities of every ordinary citizen is intrinsic to our party's ideology. You said this. I want to share these numbers with you. Wholesale milk prices up 10%, maize up 27%, wheat up 31%. We are committed, quote, we are committed to ensure that the unique linguistic, cultural, and social identity of the Northeast states is adequately protected. And we will continue to focus on the development and infrastructure and connectivity of the Northeast. What have you done in the Northeast? You haven't even started. Why don't you start by bringing Garo and Khasi into the, into the eighth schedule of the Constitution? Why don't you start with yesterday announcement was made 7,000 crores going to the Northeast. What's the reality, sir? Only eight of the 36 projects in the Northeast, only eight had been sanctioned till 2021. What is happening? Empty words. Sir, last three points. Quote, in order to curb corruption, the Modi government has taken many effective steps. Who said this? BJP Manifesto, page 24. What is happening now? 400% increase in ED cases against politicians, 95% of which are against opposition leaders. Buy a washing machine, you're done. <laughs> Sir, I have a colleague of mine who's a firebrand trade union leader, Dola Sen, and she needs to speak on this also, so I've kept a little time for her, four or five minutes. So this is the situation, sir. On this, over 95% of the 200 politicians that the CBI had booked, arrested, raided, or questioned were from the opposition. Sir, not everybody from the opposition with this dhamki and humki will jump over. Some of us are here. 
We are ready to fight the good fight. We are ready to fight the good fight. What is this fight? Nothing. I know of a woman who went on a 26-day hunger strike to fight for the farmers of the country. What are these couple of the EDs and some CBI? And we have all respect for these institutions. So we have to revive these institutions. I'm glad we are debating in parliament today. I'm really happy. 14 days were wasted in the last session. I'm glad you're here, sir. Why? We don't want to discuss price rise. We don't want to discuss. China is sensitive. What? This is meant for sensitive. Otherwise, I can discuss. Let's have a, a, a three-hour discussion on what, how, what Messi should do with his children when they grow up. That's not sensitive. So my last point. We have focused, quote, manifesto. We have focused on the development of economic and social infrastructure. BJP manifesto, in the tribal areas affected by left-wing extremism, and we will continue to make efforts in this direction. This is what you've said in your manifesto. Don't you remember, sir? The NIA charged an 84-year-old man, and recent forensic analysis shows that the evidence was planted on a priest. Doesn't matter the priest, doesn't matter the priest was a Hindu priest or a Christian priest, or a Muslim priest, it doesn't matter, or a Sikh priest. It was an 84-year-old man who wasn't given a straw, sir. There are people like us. There are people like big stars outside this house, like Mr. Bachchan or Shah Rukh Khan, who oh, speak about personal liberty. Only Enough. Four. Yes, sir. Last, last 30 seconds. Four minutes for Dola Sen. Yes, sir. <laughs> sir, only, only members of parliament only celebrated actors, all very good, but the real voice for personal liberty, the real voice to ask these difficult questions to the BJP is not from any of us, sir. It's from the young people of India. Thank you very much.